Happy Catter Day, everybody! Today I have a whole little crate, well it's not actually full, a whole crate of my favorite shower stuff to go over with you. Why did I think of this? Because it's so hot and humid and muggy today. Like, I just couldn't wait to get home and shower. 90% of this is from Lush. Maybe more. I'll talk about the two things that are not from Lush, and then the rest will be from Lush, and it'll be like a little Lush haul. You'll want to go to Lush and go buy it, and bring it home and shower and shower and shower, and you'll be so thrilled. These little babies I got from a Petit Four box. They're the Evolve H, A. Eh? They're Ultra Shine Moisture Conditioner and Moisture Shampoo to cleanse and to treat, and they work like a dream. And I hadn't used them for so long, then I finally started using them, and my hair felt so like thick and soft afterwards, it was awesome. And they're both vegan. Ah. It didn't start out this way when I started out my cruelty-free decision to, you know, like only buy cruelty-free cosmetic and beauty products and blah, blah, blah products. But I'm starting to like pay more attention to, is it vegan, is it not? Can I go vegan instead of non-vegan? I'll start off with the first thing I purchased in the shower department of Lush. It is the Fairly Traded Honey Shampoo. Obviously it is not vegan. It's mostly honey in this thing. So if you are not on the vegan train. I'm not fully on the vegan train, I'm like, thinking about buying a ticket. This is so good. It made my hair feel just super moisturized. That's what I was mostly going for when I got this one. I think this is our second big bottle like this. And before that I used like a medium one already. So I love it. My husband loves it. Um, I think I got my brother even into it. Like everyone loves this one. It's just super moisturizing and it smells really good. Top tip, no need to wear perfume when wearing this fragrant shampoo. Next, what do I use other than that shampoo? Well, these are my three little, one's a shampoo, one's a conditioner, and one's a exfoliator. So let's just open them up and see which one is which, shall we? This is a rub, rub, rub bar. Well, the remnants of it. I've been using it like crazy. That one was a Christmas item. The original rub, rub, rub bar, I think that's what it's called, is like so salty smelling and so pretty and it, looks like bluish purple in the store. It's so beautiful, I love it. I like the original more. Smell it in the store, it's amazing. Amazing. And it's a little bit like of a cheaper alternative to the rub, rub, rub shower scrub. These are my two shower bars, cause look at how thin this one is. <sighs> These things smell amazing. They work so well. I got this one because again, I was looking for shampoo to moisturize my hair. This one's like scenic, I think, and this one, Mandarana. No, I made that one up, that's nothing. So don't ask for Mandarana when you're in the store because they won't know what you mean. It smells really like citrusy. I did not expect to like shampoo bars as much as I do. I did not expect a good result, but I love them so much I even got a second and I can't wait to try out the others. There are so many that smell so amazing. I've had the orange one for a freaking long time, like eight-ish months, and those are usually around like $10. This might be a little bit more even. This is their solid conditioner in the scent, I think it's called Jungle. It's a little bit more of a earthy smell. That's my go-to, those are my faves. I don't love the conditioner as much as I love the shampoo. It just doesn't like sud at all, so or lather I guess is the word. So you just don't feel like you know how much is going into your hair, but I do like it, but I prefer like a liquidy conditioner. I will probably get another one just because they're so easy for travel. Next. I did not think I would love the D-Fluff Strawberry Shaving Soap as much as I do. You know what? Like even when I think about it, I'm like, what do I even love about it again? It's so cute. And I started off with one of those small containers and I ran out of it and I was like, eh, I probably won't buy it again. But then I went a while without it and I, was, I just noticed a difference, you know, in shaving without this stuff. My legs weren't as soft. I just, mm, this just adds that extra luxury softness to your legs. Next, I have a sample right here. This is the Ocean Salt Self-Preserving Scrub. I don't remember why I tried it or when or who recommended it to me, but I've seen that some people use it on their face. It was a bit strong for my face, like before doing a fresh face mask to kind of open up your pores. But I do like the feel of this. This shower gel. What's the difference between a shower gel and a body wash? Nothing. This one is called Beautiful, but I heard that they're discontinuing it. The reason I got it was like, it has glitter at the bottom there. I actually got it for my husband, but I really like the smell. It's always so funny to read their little like how to use top tips. How to use. Don't know how? We suggest finding someone you really like and inviting them to demonstrate. 
So I don't know if I'll get this one again, but it's definitely awesome. I want to try Plum Rain, Dirty Spring Wash, I think it's called. And there was another one that is like on my radar for, I don't know which one will be next. And then my last little product is actually not for a shower. It's for a bath. It's not a bath bomb. Ah! What I don't love is spending like $8 for one bath. It's a one-time use. So what I do is I buy the bath melts. Melts, yes. So this is the You've Been Mangoed bath melts. They're like between three and four dollars, but I actually don't use this whole thing in one bath. I try to cut it up into like three or four pieces. I just like to use like one little piece per bath and it just makes your skin softer, the bath smells good. I've never found like a bath bomb made me smell good after it. I feel like these, the scent lasts a little bit longer and it's just way cheaper. Life hack, lush hack, ooh. Happy Catterday, go enjoy your showers and baths, people. And go love your cats. Okay, if you have any questions or suggestions for me to try, let me know down in the comments, bye.